In this question, we're asked, why does the rate of reaction double when the concentration of hydrochloric acid doubles? Well, there are twice as many hydrogen ions, or HCl, so therefore twice as many successful collisions in a given time. It's very important we say successful collisions, not just collisions. And get this phrase in as well with kinetics, in a given time. The next question is just state the meaning of the term activation energy. It's the minimum energy for reactions to start. The next question we're asked about the reaction profile diagram for an exothermic reaction. Well, in an exothermic reaction, the reactant's position is above the products. So this is the activation energy. That's the bonds being broken. This is the bonds being made. And not required. That there is the delta H. One mark for activation energy, one mark for the products. Next question is about barium reacting with water. So Ba2 plus, uh, sorry, barium metal reacts with water, and B, the uh, iron charge is Ba2 plus. For barium hydroxide is 1 minus, hence Ba open bracket OH close bracket 2, and then hydrogen as the byproduct. Barium oxide is the product with the reaction of steam. Then we're asked for the simplest ionic equation Ba2 plus ions plus sulfate ions go to BaSO4 solid. It's solid because it's a white precipitate. You do not need to show the state symbols if you do. Make sure you get them right. So some uses. There are several uses you need to be aware of for group 2. First thing is the barium sulfate used in barium meal x-rays. And explanation, barium sulfate is insoluble. Remember, barium ions are really toxic. But barium sulfate is really insoluble. doesn't get into the bloodstream. So can't poison anybody. Then we're asked to think about trends. Solubility in water of the, of the hydroxides. Remember, magnesium hydroxide is sparingly soluble. It forms white precipitate. So as you go down the group, um, it increases in solubility. So barium hydroxide is soluble. The first ionization energy decreases down the group. Distance between the nucleus and the electrons is greatest in barium. So the attraction between the positive nucleus and negative electrons is weakest in barium. Hence, the electron is lost most readily. Then we have the atomic radius. Well, barium is the the uh, got the most shells, therefore has the largest atomic radius. Explain why calcium has a higher melting point than strontium. It's all about the strength of the metallic bonds. So the delocalized electrons in um, calcium are close to the positive ions, um, and therefore a stronger attraction between the positive cations and the negative delocalized electrons means a stronger metallic bond. Question three, we're thinking about um, compounds and, and of iodine, and we're asked to the oxidation state of I2. Now, I2 is an element, therefore has oxidation number of zero. In uh, hydrogen iodate, HiO3, read through this. H is one plus. There are three oxygens which are minus two each, so that's minus six. Minus 6 plus 1 for the hydrogen gives minus 5. Plus 5 minus 5 gives 0 for HiO3. So this is the reduction half equation, because you can see there's a gain in electrons. This is the oxidation half equation. You can see there's a loss of electron. So before you combine these two half equations together to get the ionic equation, you need to ensure that the electrons being gained is equal to the electrons being lost. You then combine the two together. So the electrons cancel. You can see here that this equation will make half an I2. Sorry, this is half I2 here. This 5 times 0 0.5 is 2.5 I2. That's where this working comes from. That simplifies to 3I2. The oxidizing agent is the chemical which gains electrons. The iodine is going from plus 5 oxidation state to 0 oxidation state. Plus 5 there, 
zero over there. So it is the oxidising agent. The question carries on with sulfuric acid reacting with solid potassium iodide. A black solid is formed and that is iodine. Deduce the half equation for the formation of sulphur from sulfuric acid. Make sure you write H2SO4 here. H2SO4 is changing to sulphur. Water is a byproduct. H plus is required because it's in acidic conditions. It's a reduction half equation, so we need to have electrons. And it's in the order of water, hydrogen, and electrons. That's the way we balance. So four waters, because there's four oxygens here. Six H pluses here, because there's two there already. There's eight on the on the right, so six H plus. Then balance the charges, six H plus, so six electrons to balance. Compound with a minus two unpleasant smell, rotten egg smell, is hydrogen sulfide H2S. Silver nitrate solution or silver ions as a test for the halide ions, iodide, chloride, bromide, and this one it's iodide, yellow precipitate is silver iodide, so Ag plus plus I minus goes to AGI. Concentrated ammonia does not dissolve in silver iodide, so no visible change or precipitate does not dissolve. Why is nitric sorry why is silver nitrate acidified when testing for iodide ions? Well nitric acid is the acid that it's acidified with. It reacts with carbonates and hydroxides. It reacts with them so they do not interfere with the test because carbonate and hydroxide form brown precipitate with silver ions. Now we've got the displacement reaction. So this is chlorine react with, reacting with iodide ions. To find the term reducing agent, reducing agent loses electrons. It loses electrons to the oxidizing agent. So in this case, it is the iodide which is losing its electrons. It's going minus one to zero. Write a half equation for the conversion of chlorine into chloride, chlorine, chloride, plus two electrons to balance, so it's two minus there, so it's two minus there. Suggest why iodide ions are stronger reducing agents than chloride ions. Iodide is a larger ion, a larger ionic radius. It has a weaker attraction of its outer electron because it's a bigger, bigger ion, so it's a less electrons are lost more readily. In question four, we're asked to draw the Maxwell Boltzmann for a higher temperature. This is the original temperature. A higher temperature, the average energy is is greater, so it sh the peak has shifted to the right. There are more particles with energy greater than activation energy in this region here. But because we've got more particles with greater energies here, it means the peak is a uh, is a lower height here. Explain why an increase in temperature increases the rate of the chemical reaction. Well there are many more molecules with energy greater than activation energy, therefore more successful collisions in a given time. You need to say successful collisions in a given time. Go back earlier on um, in this feedback and I said that this change in concentration over the change in time, again we're talking about kinetics, so time is very important. The next bit is about the choice of catalyst and use the data in the table to use which is the most effective catalyst for the decomposition. Well this is the lowest activation energy for the iron. So um, as it's the lowest activation energy it means that it's going to be the most effective catalyst. Without catalyst it's very high, you see 245 Platinum is least effective the catalyst, then gold, and then iron is the be is the most effective. And then finally, explain how a catalyst increases the rate of reaction. 
catalyst provide an alternative route with a low, activa low activation energy for the reaction. The first mark is for saying they provide an alternative route. The second mark is that they provide a route with a low activation energy.